hello guys welcome back so finally we have reached at the end of the this particular data structure which is singly linked list so in this lecture quickly let's quickly talk about the big o notation for the methods which we have implemented so far and then let's quickly close this data structure right and then i will attach the data structure whatever we have built so far together i'll attach that in the description the link of that particular data structure in the uh, description so you can you guys can find the link in the description and then you can see the complete code okay along with these comments uh, which i have added here okay I, i'm gonna paste it as it is okay if you want you can remove it okay it's up to you right so yeah if you talk about the insertion of the node in the singly linked list so the best case is we go of one worst case is we can say we go of n why is that so see if you are inserting a node at the very beginning or at the very end okay in link list we don't have index right so it doesn't matter if you insert at the beginning or at the end no node is going to get re-indexed unlike arrays right so in arrays all the elements are re um, like all the elements have indexes right so if you push or you can say if you uh, add an uh, an element at the very beginning so rest all the elements have to move one um, you can say one index okay that means even if you insert a, uh, just one node or one element in the very beginning all the elements will get affected in that particular array and in case if it is a big array then that's going to be a big problem right but that is not the case with the singly linked list because we don't have the indexes so it doesn't matter if you are inserting at the beginning or inserting at the end it we are just updating the new head or we are just updating the new tail okay so it's not going to affect the rest of the nodes now if i talk about the inserting the node at the middle so what we have to do we simply have to traverse through the link list right from the head till the node till the like what you can say uh, index where you want to inject that particular node okay so in that case uh, the big o notation for insertion can be big o of n okay so that also we have to consider okay that actually comes under the accessing part that's why it's big o of n because here we are not simply inserting we are accessing the node and then we are inserting it, right yeah so that is the case now if i talk about removal same thing if you are removing from the beginning or if you are removing from the end it's not going to affect the complete linked list we simply have to remove the head update the new head we have simply have to remove the tail we simply have to update the new tail it's not going to affect the rest of the nodes but in case if you want to remove a node from the middle right so we again have to traverse the singly linked list from the beginning like from the head all the way up till where from where we want to remove the node right and then we have to set its previous node dot next to that current nodes next node as a next node for the previous node okay so that is why removal uh, best case is like o of 1 and then average and worst case you can say is o of n okay removing and accessing uh, like removing and inserting these two are a little bit better than than the arrays uh, in terms of singly linked list right so if you are removing or if you are inserting something okay that's not going to reindex the rest of the nodes in case if it is happening from in the uh, starting or at the end of the single link list right if it is happening in the middle as well then we simply have to traverse that's why it's going to take o of n okay otherwise it's not going to affect the rest of the nodes but if you think about the arrays if you are removing any node from the beginning or from the end from end if you are removing that's going to be constant time because it's not going to affect the rest of the elements but if you are removing any no element from the beginning right so it's going to reindex the rest of the elements right so it's going to affect so simply it's going to be big o of n okay so in these two case our singly linked list one and if i talk about searching and accessing searching in the sense if you want to search for a particular value is that value available in that particular singly linked list then simply you have to traverse through the node list and then you have to match the value so that is why time complexity of the searching in the singly linked list is big o of n because you don't have indexes unlike arrays in arrays we can simply uh, access in through the indexes directly right uh, sorry i'm talking about accesses like uh, it's not like uh, um, arrays right because 
arrays have indexes and we can simply search the node there okay and accessing as well if you want to access uh, the node at the particular index okay let's say you want to access a node at index 3 even though we don't have indexes we can loop through the linked list and then we can reach that particular node by looping through it obviously okay so if we have the node list then we are already keeping track of the length of the linked list right so with the help of that length we can loop through the node list and then we can access our desired node for that particular index in the linked list so it's gonna take o of n but in case of arrays it's gonna take o of 1 because we all the elements are simply indexed so we can simply pass the index and we can get that particular element so uh, now the conclusion is if you are working with a data structure if you want to work with the data which requires insertion and removal more frequently then you should go with the uh, single link list and if you have to work with the data which requires searching and accessing the nodes more frequently then you should go with the arrays it's all up to your personal preference and it's all up to the situation okay which requires like uh, which data structures for you to choose okay so it totally depends upon that so in some scenarios some data structures excel and in some scenarios they don't excel they simply don't excel so it's the case with all the data structures right so as i have already mentioned in the beginning itself there is no data structure which can excel in all the scenarios right so yeah this is all about the big o notation for the singly linked list okay so now i will attach the code in the description you can check in the description and you can find the link of the singly linked list complete code now let's quickly move into the doubly linked list right in the next lecture okay this is it for today see you in the next one